back to the news now and seven mm -hmm. things to know to start your day. Number one, we now know when Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner will end his stay at the Illinois Veterans Home in Quincy. The governor says he will speak to the media at 1130 this morning about his stay on the veteran home ground, which he's been there for just about a week. Number two, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds gave her condition of the state address yesterday morning in Des Moines. Reynolds says she wants to modernize Iowa's tax code in part by reducing individual taxes, a proposal she'll push amid budget constraints. Number three, Democratic State Senator Nate Bolton says Governor Kim Reynolds' tax reform plan is long overdue. He says the state's tax credit is something Democrats in the legislature have been calling on for a long time. Number four, Quincy will be forced to consider cutting services or create new revenue. That's to make up for more than a million dollars Illinois is taking away. Mayor Kyle Moore says the city will get $1.2 million less from the state in the next fiscal year budget, which begins in May. Number five, a federal judge in San Francisco has now blocked President Trump's administration from rolling back temporary amnesty for dreamers. The ruling came on the same day the president invited Democrat and Republican lawmakers to the White House to try and hash out a deal on DACA as part of immigration reform. Number six, search and rescue operations are underway in Southern California following a powerful winter storm that triggered deadly mudslides and flooding. Rescue teams there in SoCal airlifted dozens of residents to safety as homes and cars were wiped away. And number seven, the fog advisory out again this morning for most of the tri-states here till about nine o'clock. We'll talk about some big changes here happening in the next 48 hours coming up in about three minutes.